young offender you'd be. Well, I can't help it if I'm the brains of the operation. If you're so good, yeah, why well, don't you have a go? You want a job doing properly? Do it yourself. What the hell oh! do you think you're doing? Out. You gave me a heart attack. I thought I told you that cellar's not safe. Yeah, you did. You also told me that you'd gone to Inverness. So before we do anything, I think you're the one with the explaining to do. We're the floor. The job's not until next week. That's right. So I drive all the way up to the lakes, only for my friends to call me and say we've got to put the job back. So you set off without checking with him first? Well, I don't know whether you've noticed, love. I'm sort of busy. If I'm not busting a gut here, I'm over helping you at your flat. So why come here? Why didn't you just go straight home? Because I didn't want to waste a day. I thought I'd do some graft here, then take my two favourite ladies out for tea. By way of apologising to you for my wife's appalling behaviour last night. Mm. Anyway, you're both lucky I did come along. Both of you could have ended up with snapped necks. What did you think you were doing, breaking in here? It was her idea. Cheeky man. I don't care whose idea it was. Both of you. I don't want either of you anywhere near here without me. Is that clear? If anything should happen to either of you, God knows. OK, so please. Do we still get taken out for our tea? <laughs> I'll think about it. Now. Beat it. I'm going to lock up. I'll see you back at home. Yeah. Sorry, and um, glad you got the dates wrong. Mm. Uh, can you save that for your kinky red room in the cellar? Just ignore her. Hey, I hope you two aren't plotting behind my back. That's it. Oh, and just for the record, we didn't break in. The door was open. So you need to be more careful, because anyone could have walked in. 